so I'm going to be remaking a video that I made a few years ago. I think it's the beginning of, beginning of 2020, considering that my hair was bright purple um, and my makeup was absolutely terrible. I I look back at that and I say, okay, this is this has needed a redo for some time. I normally wouldn't redo my videos, but this one is probably my biggest video on my channel. I think it's at 15k views right now, and it, it gets comments all the time still, and I just want to make an updated version because I think so much has changed with Mick Costumes since I made it, and I have changed. I have taken costume design courses in, co in college, graduated college, make adult tech job money, which is is not a little, it's, <laughs> so I can afford very nice costumes now. And I also have won cosplay contests and I constantly make my own cosplays. I have one right behind me right now. Like, so I feel like my standards have gone like this. You know what I mean? And the way that I see things as somebody who now makes a lot of their own cosplay is way different from how I did like three, four years ago when I made that video originally. And I didn't have much resources and I was just kind of scraping by because obviously if you don't have a lot You're gonna see things very differently and I've also had many events happen to me over the years with my costumes That have made me think very differently of them. So let's get started I'm gonna get started with the cons because let's get the negative stuff out of the way first The first big downside with mid costumes that I am still standing on this hill with I think I said this in the first video, but I'm gonna word it a little bit different is the like Never the durability of the fabric. The fabric is very durable. It is the attachments on the fabric, like buttons, snaps, velcro, zippers, and like those little hooky things that bra straps go into. I don't know what those are called, <laughs> like little loops and stuff. All the little attachment parts, I simply do not like, and I will die on that hill. I absolutely do not like them. Um, for a $50 cosplay, I think it's really acceptable personally. <laughs> like, I will deal with that because if there's a sewing skill that I think is probably the easiest, it's probably sewing on a snap or a button. Like, you could learn it in a five minute YouTube video, figure out how to thread the needle, and then you're you're good, you're set. Um, so, I'm kind of okay with that personally, but it is still a con if you don't want to do anything to the cosplay. Like, you're gonna have to do something to it. I guess if you're just wearing it at home to make some, like, TikToks or, like, photos, um, yeah, it's fine. It's whatever. Like, it doesn't need to be perfect. <laughs> but if you're going to a Comic-Con, you really need that durability. So, like, if I was going to wear a Mick Costumes cosplay to a Comic-Con, replace, like, a lot of the snaps and buttons on it. I do, like, what I call a durability test. By the way, I'm going to start putting some photos up here of, of my cosplays from Mick Costumes. So I'm going to scooch over a little bit. Because... I think it's good for you guys to see. This is like half of them that I've bought too. I have so many for my costumes, so I don't know. Really, really gives me some credibility, I think, with this. For example, with my Mona cosplay, the clear straps that hold on at the side popped off. The the loops that hold in the like bra straps or like straps that just hold it up popped off. <laughs> uh, on my Eula cosplay, the snaps were popping off. On my on Asuna cosplay, the zipper came off multiple times, and I just gave up on fixing it, so it came off its tracks. I don't I don't even know how that happens, but I guess now I do actually know how that happens. <laughs> I could have fixed that, but I didn't have the sewing knowledge to do that at the time. So it's like those problems that are the big problems with my costumes. The material and the cosplays always hold up themselves. I've never had one rip, and I've had these costumes since I was... 17 and I'm 21 so like now I have like I, I'm a woman now you know like I don't have my teenage body anymore like I used to and I will still wear the costumes cosplays and they fit me really well so personally it's just the closures that are the problem the way that you hold it together oh so as long as you're okay with fixing those that's fine but those like pretty much always fall apart and it's really agitating so uh, part of my routine whenever I get new cosplays or make costumes is I actually always remove if there's velcro, I always take my seam ripper and just rip off each of the stitches and put snaps there. Or just anything. Hooks, snaps, buttons, whatever you prefer. I just put those there. Because um, I can also make sure I do a ton of thread around the snaps. Like, I can make sure those snaps are not going anywhere, you know? But I can't do that with the velcro. Velcro will just get less sticky. And a lot of velcro, like, if you want something to fit you proper, like, you can breathe and it'll all just come unsnapped in the back. I think my Eula cosplay was like that. I don't know if I made a video on that, but I think it was one of my vlogs from last year I did that. 
very well. Check them all, make sure, like, you can even take the ones that are already there and just sew over them a few times, just make sure they're in place, like, trust me, I have been at photo shoots, like, three or four times and actually had costumes from them, like, fall apart, like, on the location, so, be careful with that, be very careful with that. Um, I don't think it's the worst, it could be, but it could definitely be a lot better with that, and then my second complaint would be thighs, um, their stuff still doesn't fit my thighs very well. Um, I think it's become more apparent as I've gotten a little bit older and put on a little bit more weight there, but um, it's just not very thigh friendly. There's some cosplays that are that I've got from them where pieces fit. Like my On Takamaki cosplay, the red tights fit me perfect. And then I try to put on my Your Forger cosplay and the thigh pieces don't go past my knee. So. I think some of them, something that they could do that could help with that would actually be if they could add some elastic in the back of the thigh pieces instead so it could fit a wider variety of people because sometimes it feels like their cosplays are made to fit a boy rather than a woman. Like I don't know how else to explain that. Like I'm very flat chested for example and if I weren't flat chested I don't think some of these would fit. So that's why I can't talk from like a curvier person's point of view but I can say they don't always fit my thighs very well. So like triple check the measurements before ordering from them, but I would say that for anywhere, whether it's Doki Doki or Owo Cosplay or something like that, always check the measurements, you know, for each costume too, because they can vary. But I sometimes am really unhappy with the sizing because also some of them are really short. Like I'm only 5'5", five five, and I think I'm like a small in most costumes on my costume still, but because if I wanted to fit my waist, I have to order small, but if I wanted to fit my height, I have to order like a medium or a large, and I get, it's like Asian sizing, so that's just how it is. I'll order a size or two up, but because I can sew, I'll tailor everything else in, because you can always take things in, but you can't add things on, so I would rather tailor it in than add stuff on. Next up is a lot of items do have a really long shipping time, like I think this goes for most cosplay brands though since they aren't really coming from the US but if you order a cosplay that isn't very popular, like I may have recently ordered on Takamaki's Panther costume from It Costumes and if I ordered that one alone it would have taken like three weeks to get here and I live in Utah but it feels so weird to say I live in Utah. So I live in Utah now, not New York and it takes like three weeks to get here. But then I also ordered Stella from Wings Club and that one's gonna take like a month and a half to get here. So sometimes they can take a really long time. A way around that I think is Mick Costumes has an Amazon page and like everything there is Prime. So you can get pretty much any of those. Like that's how I got my Lucy cosplay was I got it within like two days through Amazon Prime. So just check there. It's still the same shop. It's still Mick Costumes. It's just they have an Amazon storefront too that you can, you may as well order from, you know? So now on to the pros. And I actually have a lot of these because I actually like it quite a bit. I don't, like, I just had to be a little bit critical and be honest about what I didn't like. So my first pro is that it's actually really affordable, super affordable. Like I said, when I was in college, I was buying them all the time. And now that I'm out of college, I'm buying way more of them all the time. <laughs> um, but it's affordable compared to, I think I order from Doki Doki and Owo a lot too. and. Compared to them, it's super affordable. Um, not so much compared to AliExpress and Amazon, but I'm gonna get back to those in a second. Um, I'd say it's about the same price as Amazon, and sometimes if you order stuff from Make Costumes, it'll actually be the same brands from like Amazon, like Cause Effect, or like there's some other brands. I think they work with those and ship those, but those are the same quality, so. They're super affordable, and I really appreciate that. Um, we need an affordable, ugh. We need an affordable cosplay brand, right? Like, more cosplayers, the better. We don't want to make it hard to get into. So, I really appreciate that. And when there is shipping, it's like, yeah, it might take a month and a half, but it's still good. Like, it's going to be on time. Like, I guess a lot of people do have problems with late ones. I personally have still not. Like, <laughs> I, may, I may have, but then customer support is amazing whenever I have. Like, I, I don't know if I've just had really good luck the past years, because I remember in the old video, I saw a lot of comments that were like, mine's a month late, like, what do I do? And I'm like, I don't, I don't know, talk to customer support, because I've had good luck with them. So, <laughs> um, I've had a wonderful experience with shipping, like, it's not late for me. It actually is early most of the time, like, a week or two early. Um, I don't know, it could just be my luck, though, <laughs> I guess. 
Next up, they have amazing customer support. So this is an experience I had like a year and a half ago. I had keychain from Genshin Impact. I had ordered that from Mick Costumes, and that's like an $120 cosplay. Even for Mick Costumes, that's pricey. It's Genshin, right? And Genshin cosplays cost an arm and a leg. So <laughs> no matter what quality they're going to be, they're going to cost you a bit. Unless they look really bad, if I'm being honest. But um, I actually had a porch pirate problem in my old uh, apartment complex. Uh, someone was following the Amazon truck and they would literally just, or like following UPS trucks and they would just steal whatever. Like I had the ColourPop Sailor Moon collection that I ordered and it was stolen within 15 minutes of being delivered. And that happened to many things when I lived at that apartment. <laughs> and um, one of those things was my keychain cosplay. So I messaged my costumes and I was like, hey guys, like, I don't know what to do. This got stolen. Like I have, I have, I'm pretty sure I have a port pirate problem for like, you know, like I have had it. I don't know what to do. Like I was really looking forward to this cosplay and they, they were like, no problem. Just send us confirmation that it was delivered. And then if you want to pay for the shipping again, which is like $12, but like compared to the 120 you pay for the cosplay, not much. They're like, we'll just send you a new one. And I'm like, like, that was the kindest thing. So I, I really love my costumes for that. Like, that was really, really, really wonderful of them. Um, yeah, I've actually never had a costume company do something like that. So that, like, well, that was the only cosplay I've had stolen. Actually, I've had a couple stolen, but that one was the most expensive one I've had stolen. Um, and that, that just meant a lot. I don't know. I think it really goes to show that they are really a good company that does care a lot. The fact that they are based in China too and they still did that is really really sweet so I appreciate that a ton I know some people will be like but you still have to pay for shipping I'm like I don't care they just like gave me like a hundred twenty dollar cosplay like I could have been lying to them for all they know you know which I wasn't but I really appreciate that and that was really heartwarming it's gonna be better quality than Amazon and AliExpress especially AliExpress so I've actually bought quite a bit from Amazon and AliExpress and it is every single time better um I think sometimes you end up ordering from those places because shipping can be faster, but if you can wait for the shipping, make costumes is always worth it. And when you do order, it is it has always been accurate to size for me. So they don't usually, I don't think they have thigh measurements for a lot of stuff. If they do, then I don't look at them and that's my own fault. You know, that's not their fault. But the measurements that I do look at, they always match up to. So if it says 26 and a half inch waist, it always fits my waist perfect. Like. Like, it does not skip a beat. So, like, the sizing on the website, the size chart that you see under each cosplay is always accurate for that cosplay. It has not fallen out of line with that. I'm super happy with that. And then, this is an opinion of mine that's changed since the last video. The last video I made on this, I hated their wigs. I actually love their wigs now. I very much love their wigs. So, I learned some things about wigs recently and started doing different... I don't think... So, okay. Actually, I love their wigs with a grain of salt. So I love their, <laughs> I love their wigs, but they're very hard to style yourself. Um, they're very easy though if you just want to pull a wig out of a bag and use it. So because they always come pre-styled and stuff. Um, so if you want to like pull pull a wig out of a bag and just use it, that's my costumes. Buy them, you know. <laughs> the only wigs I don't like, this is why I mean a grain of salt. The ones with cat ears tend to have like weird ears that I just hate. Um, and then. The ones that like ponytails and stuff, like they'll glue the ends. So like if something gets messed up, you actually cannot style it and fix it. So if you want control over that, it's like you're not gonna have. I love and hate the wigs. <laughs> it depends on the wig, but I actually usually order them with the cosplays now for the most part, um, unless I think I could get a better quality one somewhere else. Like sometimes I'll look at the wig that they have and I'll be like, actually, I think Amazon wigs could do better. Or I've gotten really into buying Epic cosplay wigs recently, so I don't know. I'm I'm on a journey with wigs right now, but at the moment I like the Mick costumes wigs. Lastly, I wanted to go over some like Q and A type stuff from my last video. New swimsuits. Um, I can't talk for the swimsuits. I haven't ordered swimsuits from them. Um, to me, it kind of seemed like a waste of money when I was in college because I didn't have a lot. Maybe this summer I will, but now I live in Utah where people are super weird about that. But I'm I'm getting more comfortable with it. The wigs are good, like I just said. I just did not like them at the time I made that video. Maybe they've changed. I don't know. A lot of people said the wigs were still super shiny. 
They are. That, but I kind of like the shiny wig sometimes because that means, so if it's shiny, that means the fibers are different and they're actually easier to brush through. But if it's more matte, the fibers will actually be harder to brush through. You can wash them. I machine wash them on delicate or hand wash depending on the costume. If it has more details, I hand wash it. If it doesn't, I machine wash it. The dyes do come out quite a bit though, so be careful. There's white in another color. Hand wash it cold. If you have late costumes, just talk to customer support. They've been great for me every time. Sometimes there has been an incident or two where they have kind of like, I don't know, something just happened to it and then after I talked to customer support, it miraculously was there in like three days. So that does happen quite a bit. If it says it's going to get there in a couple weeks, it's probably going to get there in a couple weeks. The plus size cosplays either, as I am not a plus sized human. But um, I'm sure there are plus sized humans that make videos similar to mine because YouTube is a very big place and maybe you could find them. <laughs> I don't personally have any recommendations, but I'm sure there's got to be a plus size human out there somewhere that talks about make costumes and has different opinions because they see things a little bit differently than me. So I would, I would seek them out if you have questions on the plus size cosplays. I don't think a lot of cosplay companies consider that group of people. So I think it's really kind that they do, but I don't know if they're actually good or not. So I can't really speak for it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this updated review though. It might get 50 views for all I know, um, but at least there's somewhere different I can redirect people with my newer and more educated thoughts on make costumes versus my old ones and that old review. I I was like looking at even I was looking at how I like did my makeup and hair at the time and I'm like oh I hate this. <laughs> but I'm keeping it up. I'm not somebody to like delete old YouTube videos. Um I just hope that you end up on this one eventually. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting my content and my channel. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I make so much different content. I make reviews, tutorials, vlogs lots of like convention content if I can. I, I just do a lot of stuff so you should totally check out my channel and subscribe. Thank you so much guys. Bye!